Aries, welcome to my channel being you now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I am doing your May monthly reading. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you have Aries placements, this reading is for you. If this reading doesn't resonate, head over to the videos tab. There might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance. And uh, I also do one minute reads, which is in the short section of my channel. And there's always something fun and fabulous happening in the communities tab. So come say good day. Now, as I was um, pre-shuffling, I saw the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. So one of the biggest messages that I got as your opening message, Aries, for the month of May is that be very careful of where you are giving your attention in the month of May um, and being too much in your mind. So that was a message there for somebody that be careful of being too much in your head, essentially, because that could result in indecision, which might make you feel or give you the false illusion of being stuck. And um, it may also result in sleepless nights and anxiety. So just something, just a bit of warning. It may not be for everyone, just opening messages that I got during the pre-shuffle. So just needed to share that. Okay, so let's see. What have we got? Ooh, what have we got? And thank you to everyone that donated to my channel. Um, I so appreciate you. People think that because I have a channel, we make a lot of money on YouTube. Maybe that used to be the case. It's not the case anymore. Your donations help me to keep bringing new things on the channel. At the moment, I your donations, with your donations, I was able to bring this beautiful, gorgeous candle, which just amplifies the space and cleanses and purifies the space and helps me with my meditation. There's a big process that goes in before I start every single reading. So thank you to everyone that donated. I was able to get this um, Australian-made soy candle with 100% essential oil. So I'm very grateful for each and every one of you that support me, my work and my channel and show your gratitude, support and appreciation. The chariot. So the month of May, Cancer energy is starting off with a bang with a major arcana. So the month of May is all about moving forward. Moving forward. Chariot is about momentum. It's about movement. I feel like after the Mercury retrograde, um, for some people, this could have been after a period of seven months, seven years, or even seven weeks that you might have been feeling stuck. Now, in the month of May, we are out of the shadow season for Mercury retrograde. Things are going to start to pick up. You will see forward movement. You will see momentum. So where is it in your life that you're looking and desiring for this momentum? This is really, really important. For some of you in the month of May, you might also be traveling or you might be doing something to do with your car could be um, servicing your car you might even buy a new car so in the month of may all those things are possible for the aries collective nine of wands so the nine of wands here this is about i feel like a lot of you might have been doing a lot of work in the last couple of months so yeah seven weeks seven months last couple of months weeks Take what resonates for your situation. This is a collective read. One to, it's not a one-to-one -one read. For a personal read, first link in the description box. Now, with these two cards right here, I feel like a lot of you might have been just head down, bum up, doing what needed to be done. And you might not be seeing the results. It might be you, you just, just that little bit off, just that teeny tiny bit off from completion. And in the month of May, this is about being persistent. It's these two cards right here saying that it's not the time to give up on your goals, dreams, desires, and wishes. This is not the time to throw the towel in. So if you haven't been able to see the outcome, keep going forward. The chariot card is saying, keep at it. Be persistent. Be consistent. Show up, show out. And that's how you will get from the nine of wands to the ten of wands, which is completion. Okay. What else have we got? The sun card. I love this. So a lot of happiness, happiness, joy is coming in the month of May. I feel like if for somebody here who has been feeling like a wounded warrior with these three cards, I feel like that's going to change in the month of May as well. So say, for example, if you have felt like, you know, people have let you down, your job is not at the, up to speed or not up to the level that you want, or your relationships are not progressing at the speed or the momentum that you are desiring, all that is going to change in the month of May. I mean, the chariot card and the sun card, this is 
Mo movement momentum plus happiness and joy i also feel like you will feel free it's almost like if there were things that were causing a headache or um were consuming consuming a lot of your mental energy i feel like that's going to come that will be resolved in the month of may for you the sun card is a very very happy card to me this is about a lot of you might also be desiring with the chariot and the sun card with these two cards right here it's very very possible that you might be thinking of um going for a holiday a vacation or planning something where the climate is warmer so with these two cards you might be wanting or desiring more sunshine you might be spending more time in the sunshine you might travel to a spot which has more sunshine that's also very possible for others of you, you might be planning a trip during summer as well. That's also possible in the month of May. So you might start putting those wheels in motion in the month of May, even if you don't travel in May, if that makes any sense. Okay, temperance. Lots of major arcanas popping up in the month of May, um, Aries. So the temperance card is about balance. So don't overdo things. If you have been... Um, now, let me know in comments how the Mercury retrograde has been for you. For some of you, it might have been business as usual. You kept at your goals, kept going. For others of you, you might have spent more time with self-care, self-love, retreating. Now, with temperance card, temperance is all about balance. So Aries being a fire sign, particularly with when there is so much momentum and movement right here with the chariot and the sun card, make sure that you're not burning yourself out make sure that you're not you know spreading spreading yourself too thin across various priorities and across various projects that you have going on just be mindful of your energy be mindful of allowing yourself to have those breaks when you need those breaks and um really taking that time out if you you know if you need a vacation particularly with these three cards to me it's definitely saying that if you need vacation if you if healing vacation is on your mind that's going may is a great time for healing for vacation for time out for retreating that's going to really help you energetically from a vitality perspective but also in terms of restoring that balance particularly if you have been feeling like this so just something to be this this is a very specific message may not be for everybody depending on how you have felt i mean personally for me i really enjoyed reflecting and uh, making time for self-love and self-care during mercury retrograde i really really enjoyed it this 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 mercury retrograde that we had i really enjoyed it i mean aries what is going on judgment so this to me somebody here is definitely getting a job um straight away spirit was like job offer coming back this could be even an old old employer is what I'm picking up the other thing that I'm picking up is this could be something that maybe it's a past skill set maybe you had you know maybe you were working I don't know in insurance or something and you haven't been working in insurance for a long period of time and all of a sudden you go back into the insurance field very random example but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say so with this judgment card it's this major rebirth I'm getting it's it's almost like say you know the pandemic caused lots of people to lose jobs, change jobs, revisit how you view life, how you live your life, all these other things, right? I'm just, and in the last three to five years, a lot has shifted in lots of people's lives. If this is not your story, collective read, all right? Personal read, first link in the description box. That's all I'm going to say. But for somebody here, you are moving, you are, after a period of delay, after a period of delay, you are finally gaining momentum so it's almost like this is what's happening for you after a period of waiting that delay is now over and you're moving forward with the judgment card it's almost like spirit is giving you aries here's your chance here's your opportunity to go get it that's what this is about this is about rebirth this is about transformation and I'm not saying that this is you, you could go back to your old employer. You could, you know, that could be maybe you were on maternity leave or something like that. That could probably be possible. They might be like, hey, Aries, are you available? That's possible. But this could also be you going back to a field that feels familiar, that you know that, you know, you've been waiting. It's almost like I'm getting this energy for somebody here that you have been waiting for the right moment. You know, it's like 
strike when the iron is hot and that's kind of this opportunity this judgment card is like giving the iron is hot right now and this is when aries is ready available and um the job is lined up it's almost like divine timing that's the word i want to say divine these two cards are definitely talking about divine timing at play so may could be very significant for you i mean the amount of major arcana showing up we've got in just five cards i've got four major arcana so may is going to be a very big month for you aries i mean it's time to take the leap of faith this is brand new beginnings aries energy what can we say we've got sagittarius cancer leo we've got a lot of fire signs all fire signs showing up in your reach today aries so to me this is about brand new beginnings and you are ready you are you are so ready to me this is what this is you are so ready for this brand new beginning and it's going to bring so much happiness joy to you and your life whether it's in career romance business money may is the month to not it's almost this this card is actually although it's a minor arcana it's very important in your reading what spirit is really saying to you aries is that don't drop the ball just because you can't see the results you are so close to the finish line now is not the time to say you know i can't do this anymore now is not the time to give up that's what this energy is about because happiness joy movement momentum and brand new beginnings and a fresh start a new adventure is available to you for somebody, this could be definitely you being the fool, taking a leap of faith, and you might go traveling with a chariot. That's also possible. Um, you might say, you know what, I'm going to take a gap year or sabbatical, whatever you call it, depending on where you live in the world, right? So that's also very possible for you. I'm loving, loving, loving the spread and the cards that have shown up for you. Like, <laughs> I've got five major arcanas from the six cards seven of cups so seven of cups if this to me may is the month of options and i feel like this is talking to why the temperance card is important the temperance card is important it's about moderation whilst you have all these options all these options may not be the right option for you so it's about using discernment about which options are the right options for you and which so which which options are going to take you closer to your goals and which ones are mere distractions and only you can you know sometimes aries can get this can get um excited very quickly i know i'm a triple aries if you have if we haven't met hi i'm a triple aries lovely to meet you wonderful to have you welcome to being you now so um yeah i know from my own journey and but that has evolved as i have been more on my spiritual path and I'm just sharing this because I feel like, a, you know, Aries gets a bad rap. People say Aries starts everything but doesn't finish everything, right? Yes, Aries does start a lot of things because of this whole emperor mentality, king of wands mentality, the action-oriented, business-savvy, maverick, change-maker, leader, mover, shaker, right? So just be careful that you don't fall into the trap of starting multiple things and not taking it to completion. Again, it's talking to this card here. Because that's where you won't get the progress. Because if you start multiple things at the same time, what happens to your energy? It's all scattered, you know, and everything might look like gold, but is, but is it really gold? And that's what this Seven of Cups is really talking about, that everything that's shiny may not be gold. So it's up to you to decide and choose and make the decision that you do your due diligence, essentially. Is it really gold? Or does it look like gold? It's shiny, but it's actually just a bit of shiny paper. You know, <laughs> that's kind of the vibe. <laughs> so, um, yeah, in the month of May, just be be careful of that. Yeah, and, you know, for me, when, like, I'll just, because I'm an Aries, I understand this. You know, people say Aries starts lots of things, but doesn't take it to completion. Yeah, but Aries, though, does, also being the king of wands, things that Aries is very passionate about, Aries will take it to completion. You know, and I know that from my own journey. Let me know in comments, you know. Four of Cups. So here's the deal, Aries. Your big, your big message for May is going to be, whilst you may see what's in front of you, the universe is handing you out a cup. So with this cup, how your, your, your guidance, your advice for the month of May is, not to miss this cup that the universe is handing out to you and the way you're going to do that is to 
not get distracted with illusions. So be very mindful of what is real and what's not real. So you can then eliminate the chatter, the noise, the shiny object syndrome. Hello. Everyone suffers from that. It's not just an Aries thing. It's a global universal thing. The whole, you know, FOMO and shiny object syndrome. But with this particular four of cups, it's really paying attention to that cup that the universe is handing you because there is something that is coming which is brand new and spirit really wants you to embark on this fresh new journey that's going to bring you so much happiness and joy i mean these two cards right here i love this combo with the chariot i think this is this is just like going for gold it to me this is this is going for gold so we have the chariot first these three cards are going for gold for me because this is ultimately taking you to where you desire to be in your life. So where is that leap you desire to take? Let me know in comments. Where, what is your big, big takeaway or focus for the month of May? And you would know that. You don't have to wait for the month of May to start. You probably have already started. You're probably already looking at your options and assessing them. And then it's about being ready when universe hands you that cup because it's literally a gift for you. To me, this, this is that gives me the Ace of Cups vibe, you know, Ace of Cups vibe. And I feel like whatever this is, this is something that you, at a deep level, it gives you a lot of joy. It gives you a lot of happiness. It makes you feel really connected. Okay. So let's see what, what's happening in terms of romance, messages for you for love and romance for the month of May. By the way, did you know you can now hop on a call with me and... Get live tarot readings over a phone call? Yes. So if you... Ooh, the information is in the description box. So you could hashtag tarot. I mean, I want to connect with... Oh, okay. There's, they're all flipped out. I'll take them. Didn't want to take that many. Um, but it's, it's your bestie in your back pocket. Hop on a call. Let's get you the clarity and direction that you desire. Calling in your soulmate. Claim this, claim this in comments. Your prayers, affirmations, and vis visualizations help bring you together. Yes, yes, yes. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization. Tell you what, manifestation works. So many of you have commented and told me in my videos, in comments, that it, it works. You trust, believe, and you receive. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There you go. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So message for somebody there. Attraction. My single area is looking for love or those just in new relationships. Here you go. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Go take time to smell the roses. Literally, that's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. Make the effort. So cute. Look at that. Great love is worth taking the steps you, you're you guided to take. Yeah. No action, no response. It's, it, you know, cause and effect. It's People people often are like, oh, I want to make money. I want to make money. Sitting there is not going to make you money. Doing nothing is not going to make you money. If you want to work on your money mindset, if you want to make money, you got to do something. Same thing with love. Just flicking through Netflix is not going to bring Mr. Right or Miss Right in front, on your front door, right? <laughs> romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring yes 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 i feel like there's big powerful messages for my aries collective i feel like a lot of the aries collective is now ready to open their heart up for love let me know in comments like you're ready for the deep meaningful you know the real deal none of this casual stuff someone real soulmate deep connection love that you just feel in your heart mind body and soul you know Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Ooh, so this could be a confirmation for somebody. That's what I felt. That's what I felt. All right, let's see. Divine abundance. Messages for my gorgeous, glorious Aries for the month of May. Divine abundance message. Got three. Limitless. Yes, Aries, you are limitless. Don't. Tell, let anybody else tell you otherwise. I had a bit of fluff on my finger. 
See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything or anyone. Exactly. Exactly. I can't tell you. Here's the deal. I'll share very quickly with you because people always ask me. They want me to share more about myself, but I like to just get on with the tarot, right? So, but I will share this because people ask me and I feel like it's going to help somebody. For me, one of the biggest things that I was in this massive cycle which was going on and on it went on for 11 years very long period of time the way i was able to break free from that cycle was by getting out of my own way and getting help that's what i did i was getting tarot readings i was getting healings i was working on my mindset i was doing all the things and that's when my life completely shifted and changed and that's also when i really amped up my spirit spiritual journey and here we are so anything and everything is possible, but you got to also show up and do the work. Otherwise, you're just in the same old cycle. Sac sacrifice. So you are limitless, but it's about getting out of your own way. So I thought, oh, I'm, I'm a qualified accountant. I'm educated. I don't need help. Yeah, I couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> okay, sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love very very apt and ties right into your reading so if you've just joined us you want to watch the read at the start companionship big love message may seems to be you know venus jupiter taurus there is this big energy of this empress energy male female i'm talking energy so you're going to be very attractive and magnetic magnet <laughs> magnetic that's the word i'm looking for in the month of may that's what i'm picking up energetically so it's about showing your magnetic self and being out there in your full glory aries giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift very very true power of presence people have attention spans less than three seconds these days um if you scroll through social media that's what it is isn't it so attention don't underestimate the power of attention oh we're not we're not doing quarter of the deck we're not doing that <laughs> thank you very much but no thanks what is going on the same like okay looks like the same i'll be i'll be going through them very very quickly okay let's see what have we got mountain road you are on a road to success yes success is yours ink pot problems to be resolved older woman relationships or dealings with an older woman x forces are working against you be careful of that pale time to get out of the situation run <laughs> handshake i like that a meeting with a stranger could be important. Told ya. Told ya. Somebody needs to hear that. Well, family wishes come true. It's so windy outside and it's so cold. Bowl. Plenty of material things. Claim this. I know my Aries love the moolah. What is that? Broken wish bone. Wish will not be granted. Kite. Triple confirmation, vacation, there you go, claim it. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Ooh, triple confirmation, just saying. Seahorse, family matters. Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Yes, amen. Tree, lots of, this is like the fourth time you're getting a message. So maybe it'll be very big regarding family, affairs with your family and Finally, Bittle, good fortune, claim this. What an epic, epic, epic May coming your way, Aries. I am super excited for all of us. Let me know what you're claiming in comments. If you desire a desire to hop on a call regarding money, then hashtag money with me. Or if you desire to have a call and get guidance, real gu real time guidance, have a conversation with me, get your cards read, hashtag Tara in comments. And did you know, by the way, I'm offering love readings for ex-lovers, current relationship, or if you're looking for new love. So that hashtag love, or you can go into the description box. All the links are there. 
Aries, what an epic, amazing May. It's it's time to get going, moving, getting that momentum that you have been desiring because it's available to you this very moment. Aries, remember the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.